There is nothing better than fresh cube of frozen food. Just look at those guys, look at them go on those worms. So today we're gonna talk about frozen foods, one of the best alternatives to the flake food. What types of frozen foods do we have? What are the benefits? What are the risks? How do I feed frozen foods to my fish? Let's find out! So as I already mentioned, frozen foods come in many different types. You can buy frozen cyclops, brine shrimp, baby brine shrimp, which is not the same, bloodworms, glass worms. They are packed as those kind of small cubes, kind of like chocolate that no human would like to eat. Those cubes can also have different sizes, as you can see here, and they are quite easy to buy in pet stores. And this is how one of those cubes looks like. This particular example are bloodworms, and they are supposed to be fed to my quarries. And now, if you want to feed them, you have two options. First option is very simple. You just take it and throw it into the tank. And there is nothing wrong with that. Water from your tank will very quickly defrost the cube, and fish will be able to eat the worms that are inside. Nothing is going to happen to your fish and they are really going to enjoy the food. But this method has some drawbacks and risks. First of all, it might spoil your water a little bit. It's not like it's a huge problem, it's really not, because the cubes are very small and comparing to the volume of water in your tank, it's really really tiny. But still, as you can see right now, this is the cube of glass worms. And if you're looking very closely, there are very tiny particles that are defrosting and coming into the water column. Actual glass worms look like this, and this is something that your fish will enjoy. And talking from my experience, glass worms are one of the worst examples of that. You will not see something like this, for example, in case of blood worms, because they are much harder. And second problem with throwing the cube into the tank is that you don't really have a control over the amount of food that you're putting inside. So those cubes are not that easy to cut. They are very hard. This is basically almost ice. So if you have a small tank with small amount of fish, throwing entire cube inside is overfeeding. If your fish are not able to eat everything in let's say 10 minutes, that's simply too much. And this kind of food, when it's staying in your tank for a long time, this really may become a problem. So in this case, I will suggest to use another method. And that would be to simply defrost the food before you give it to your fish. So what you're gonna need is a small container. It needs to be big enough to fit your cube and a little bit of water. So place the cube of the food that you want to feed into the container and then put a little bit of water inside. And next, you have to wait. After about 15-20 minutes, the food should be completely defrosted and it would look something like that. Obviously, it can look completely different if you are feeding different type of food, but I will stick to the example with a bloodworms. And now you have full control over the portions that you can give to your fish, but it's not over because now you can actually make this food super healthy. First of all, you can use some vitamins for fish. There is a lot of them on the market. What I like to do now is put a few drops of those vitamins into my mix and just leave it for another few minutes so my food can actually soak in those vitamins inside. This is really excellent way of increasing the value of the food. But if you don't have these vitamins, there is still something else you can do, which is put garlic into this. Yes, what you can do is take very small piece of garlic and press it through this kind of device. If you don't have it, you can really just chop it into very tiny pieces. It's not a problem. And now what you have to do is take a few small pieces of garlic and just again place it in our defrosted food. Now leave it for a few minutes for the garlic to soak into the food and you just made this food super healthy for your fish. Garlic is excellent to boost the immune system of your fish and I use it regularly. And now once our mix is ready, it's time to feed our fish. And again, we have two options now. First of all, you can take a small pipette 
and just use it to take the food and place it in the tank. It's very easy, it's very fast and you have full control over the amount of food that you're giving to your fish. But some people don't like it because they don't want this water to come into the tank, which is fair enough. And in this case you can just take a small strainer, pour the liquid through it and the worms will stay on top of it. When you do something like this, you don't lose any of the vitamins or benefits of the garlic. This is why we let it soak for a little bit. All the good stuff is already in the food. Anyway, I went for this pipette method and look at them go. Fish absolutely love frozen food because this is very natural for them. It's not processed like pallets or flakes. And it's just great to see them enjoy what they eat. But even though this is for me very convenient and very beneficial way of extending the diet for my fish, there are some risks, so you have to be careful. First of all, frozen food spoils very, very quickly. So once you defrost the food, try to give it to your fish, I would say, maximum two hours after that, and I'm really guessing. I do it immediately. But don't leave it overnight, don't leave it on outside for a few hours, because really, it's not worth it. It's super cheap, so if you forget to give it to your fish, just throw it away and prepare a new batch. Second, don't overdo it. Just because your fish really enjoy it, they shouldn't be overfed. It's exactly like with, let's say, normal flaked food. Depending on the species, I'm not giving frozen food uh, more often than three times a week. And this is actually really high number. So feeding only frozen food, in my opinion, is not the best. And finally, be careful about the combination of the type of fish and type of food. What I mean by that is that, for example, in case of bloodworms, it's super healthy and good for quarries, but it's not especially good for apistogrammas. So you have to do your research and try to find the perfect food for your type of fish. Apistos, for example, can actually get into trouble when you feed them a lot of bloodworms. They can die out of blood. It, but it's like I said, it's about the combination, because for quarries, bloodworms are just perfect and they really enjoy them. I feed my quarries with bloodworms very often with high amounts and they are absolutely fine. But if you're not sure on what to do, I think the safest bet are brine shrimp and glass worms. These are the types that you can fit almost to every fish. So just to summarize, don't be afraid of frozen foods. This is great addition to your tank. Just stick to the basics. Don't overfeed your fish. Try to use the type of frozen food that is appropriate for your type of fish. And from time to time, try to bump the value of the fish with some vitamins or garlic. It works miracle when it comes to the immune system of your fish. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, see you in the next one.